given. Let us discuss this example. We have to solve this differential equation using Laplace transform. So let us consider a differential equation first. So we have this equation. So same equation we can write in this way. d square y minus 3dy plus 2y is equal to 4e raised to 2t. Okay, so this is d square. See, d square that means double derivative of y. So the same thing we can write in this way y double dash minus 3 dy means single derivative of y plus 2y is equal to 4e raised to 2t. So you know that how we solve this problem. We take Laplace transform first, we simplify it and at the end we take inverse Laplace transform and we get a final answer. Let us take Laplace transform of both sides. Taking Laplace transform of both sides. Okay, so you know that when we have addition, subtraction, we take separate, separate Laplace as well as constants we always take outside. So therefore, we will have Laplace of y double dash minus 3 constant outside Laplace of y dash plus 2 Laplace of y is equal to 4 constant outside Laplace of e raised to 2t. Okay, so I will call it as equation number 1. First of all, we have to calculate Laplace of y double dash, Laplace of y dash, and then we will put those values in equation 1. But, okay, let me mention, but Laplace of y double dash. So, in video 1, okay, in first lecture, we have already seen, right? So, Laplace of y da double dash has a formula. So, that formula is minus y dash of 0 minus s y of 0 plus s square Laplace of y, that means y bar y dash of 0 they have given it is 5 y of 0 we have it is minus 3 let us put these values here so this is minus 5 minus minus plus 3 s plus a square y bar okay so this thing we have so let us find laplace of y dash also and laplace of y dash its formula is minus y of 0 plus s y bar y bar means Laplace of y, y of 0 minus 3. So let us put it here minus minus plus 3 plus s y bar. So in this way, we have calculated both values. So let us put those values in equation 1. Then 1 becomes, let me write 1 becomes, okay, it will be its value I'm putting here minus 5 plus uh, 3s plus s square y bar, okay. So after that, I'm putting value here. So minus 3 is there, right? And minus 3 into that one. So we will have minus, okay, I will write it here for minus 3, 3 plus s y bar, correct? Plus 2, plus 2, okay? Laplace of y, we uh, denote it as y bar. So y bar is equal to 4. Laplace of e raised to 2t. So Laplace of e raised to 2t is 1 upon s minus 2. So this is into 1 upon s minus 2. Okay. So let us simplify it now. So minus 5 plus 3s plus s square y bar minus 9 minus 3s y bar plus 2y bar is equal to 4 upon s minus 2. After that, what we do? We collect all terms of y bar in left hand side. And we shift all remaining terms in right hand side. So you can see here there are only three terms of y bar. So I'm taking them in left hand side as well as I will take y bar common. So therefore we will have a square minus 3s plus 2 y bar. Okay. So 4 upon s minus 2 and remaining terms I'm shifting in right hand side. So this minus 5 minus 9 minus 14. If you shift it there, there will be plus 14. Correct and 3s i'm going to shift 3s there so minus 3 so this thing we have we are going to solve it further but there is no more space to write so make a screenshot of it then we will go further so let us simplify it further what will i do i have kept this left hand side as it is first of all we will simplify right hand side there is a need to cross multiply let us cross multiply plus 4 plus s minus 2 into this 14 minus 3s divided by s minus 2. Let us simplify it further. So this is 4 plus 14 s minus 28 minus 3 s square plus 6 s 
divided by s minus 2. So this is uh, 4, uh, this is minus 24, right? So this is minus 24, this minus 3s square, this is we have uh, 20s divided by s minus 2. Okay, so this thing we have by solving it. Let me remove it, it is not required now. Okay, so let me remove. So it is removed now. So now we will shift this bracket on that side. So therefore our y bar, y bar will be so minus 3s square plus 20s minus 24 divided by this s minus 2 we have and I'm going to shift this thing there. So this is s square minus 3s plus 2. Okay, so s square minus 3s plus 2 we can uh, find factors of this bracket getting so it will be minus 3s square plus 20s minus 24 divided by s minus 2 so its factors will be uh, see the sum is minus 3 and the product is 2 that means it will be s minus 1 and s minus 2 yes correct see then we got two brackets s minus 2 s minus 2 getting it appears two times so therefore it will be minus 3s square plus 20s minus 24 divided by s minus 1 s minus 2 square now it looks better okay so this is y bar you know that y bar means laplace of y so our final target is to find the value of y correct so we have laplace of y so what will i do i will take inverse laplace of both sides so if you take inverse Laplace of both sides, so this Laplace and inverse Laplace will get cancelled to each other and we will have simply y. But in that side, we will have inverse Laplace. So inverse Laplace of C, what we have minus 3s square plus 20s, correct? Minus 24 divided by s minus 1, first bracket, and s minus 2 square. So I'm calling it as star. So now we have to find its inverse Laplace. So we have two methods, either convolution we can use or partial fraction. I think it is better to use partial fraction here. So let us take partial fraction. So in partial fraction, what will I do? So what will I do? Uh, instead of solving it here, make a screenshot of it. I will make it clear. And after that, we will continue from here. Okay. So please make a screenshot of it. So let us continue. So I wrote the, I consider that term here okay so you must know the rules of partial fraction so what we do we have a s minus 1 uh, this bracket so we consider a upon s minus 1 after that s minus 2 bracket square is there getting bracket square is there so we consider b upon s minus 2 and square is there so the, again i should consider c upon s minus 2 square getting so in this way we have considered right so this is equal to so I'm trying to make the denominator same, same denominator I'm writing here, s minus 1, s minus 2 square. If you consider the first term, a has a denominator s minus 1, s minus 1, only this term. So I should multiply a by this s minus 2 bracket square. So a, s minus 2 bracket square plus b, b has s minus 2. So there are actually two brackets and square is there. Out of these two brackets, b has only s minus 2 in denominator. So I should multiply b by s minus 1 and 1 bracket of s minus 2 plus c. c has denominator s minus 2 square. So both brackets are covered. Only one bracket is remaining. So I should multiply c by s minus 1. Okay, so in this way, we got this one. See, both of them have the same denominator. Let us cancel and let us equate numerators only. So therefore, minus 3 square plus 20s minus 24 is equal to a s minus 2 square plus b s minus 1 s minus 2 plus c s minus 1. So after that I will put some values of s and uh, we will try to find the values of coefficients. So let us put first putting I am going to put s is equal to 1 okay s is equal to 1 I am putting so this bracket will be 0 this bracket will be 0. So I'm putting s is equal to 1. So this is minus 3 plus 20 minus 24. This is a minus 1 square is 1. So a is equal to minus 7, right? So it is a is equal to minus 7. After that, I will try to find a value of b. Putting, putting, see, I'm going to put s is equal to 
2 now we will get a value of c i am putting s is equal to 2 if i put s is equal to 2 this bracket will be 0 this bracket will be 0 so easily we will get the value of c let us put s is equal to 2 so 4 minus 12 correct so plus 40 okay minus 24 this one will be 0 this one will be 0 only we will have c so c is equal to let me calculate it is 4 c is equal to 4 okay so after that we have to put something putting i am going to put s is equal to so one is over two is over so that means now we if you put anything you will not have any directly that bracket zero so i am going to put s is equal to zero let us see what will happen if i put s is equal to zero these two terms will be zero directly we will have minus 24 here i am putting zero minus two square is 4a correct here 0 0 minus 2 minus 1 2 2 b 0 so minus c so let us we have the values of a and c let us put those values there so minus 24 a is minus 7 so it is uh, minus 28 b we have to find plus 2 b c is 4 so it's minus 4 so minus 24 this is minus 32 plus 2b correct so 32 will come here it will be 8 is equal to 2b so we got b is equal to 4 so in this way we got values of a b c so let us put those values there so let me remove it now uh, see there is no more space to write so it is better to make a screenshot of it and after that we will go further please make a screenshot of it See, by putting these values in equation star, we get this one. So, you know that when we have addition, we can take separate, separate, inverse Laplace transform as well as we can take constants outside. So, it will be minus 7 inverse Laplace of 1 upon s minus 1 plus 4 inverse Laplace of 1 upon s minus 2 plus 4 inverse Laplace of 1 upon s minus 2 square. Let us simplify it further, minus 7 inverse Laplace of 1 upon s minus 1 is e raised to t plus 4 direct formula we have for this one also we have a direct formula its inverse Laplace is e raised to 2t getting but see there is a bracket square so that's why we cannot have cannot use any direct formula there so bracket square is there so I'm going to use first shifting theorem first so see by shifting theorem e raised to 2t will be there so I'm going to replace this bracket by s so it will be l inverse of 1 upon a square only hmm. so this is equal to minus 7 e raised to t plus 4 e raised to 2t plus 4 c so you know the formula inverse laplace of 1 upon s raised to n is equal to t raised to n minus 1 upon n minus 1 factorial okay so if n is a natural number here n is equal to 2 which is natural number so that formula is applicable there so 4 e raised to 2t it will be t raised to 1 upon 1 factorial that means t only so this is required answer okay this is required solution of given differential equation make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you bye bye